Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about how to record a video lecture. Uh, various softwares are available. We will see which software is free and which one is easy to use. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about OBS Studio that is freely available and very easy to use. Okay, so our purpose is to perform a very good video lecture recording. Contents, we will see first the installation of OBS Studio. Then we will be seeing settings for OBS Studio. We will be recording lectures and for that we need to uh, do certain settings. We will then later on see how do we reduce the size of our video because it is sometimes difficult to, to send videos to our students and it will be far easy if we reduce its size. Okay, let's begin. Uh, first we have to write OBS Studio in the Google download. Okay, then we have to go to the OBS project broadcaster software. From here we choose Windows and then you can see that we have the software is being downloaded OB Studio once the download is complete just open it and it will start in a while so you since I have already installed this software you have to go to the normal procedures to install it so I'm saying no you have to say yes okay after the installation you will be seeing uh, this kind of icon on your desktop just go there and open it you can see here we have different skins available here and here we have first window which is scenes then sources we have audio mixer scene transitions controls etc and here this is a canvas where we can see different things that will be that we can see on our screen this menu we will also be seeing but this is not very important I will just give you a quick understanding of the software so if you want to record something you just go to this uh, sources here and this plus sign if you want to edit display display capture just click on this one and you will have one so i have already placed a display display capture here as you can see and then i will add another source i will add an input audio input capture i have inserted a mic so you may have speaker phones you may also use your speaker laptop speaker phones uh, speakers you can use them instead of any microphone or what okay then you can go for the video game video capture device which is webcam if you have one if you don't have you don't need to select the source we're going further okay we don't have to do anything with this i have closed this or volume you can also keep it closed but if you open it there is no harm in it so for me it is okay so I have closed it I'm going to tell you about I'm going to tell you about the settings so let's click on the settings here we can see on the left side we have different things general settings stream output audio video hotkeys advanced you don't have to do anything with this general setting we keep it as such we don't have to do anything with the stream also so don't touch it uh, let's go to the output here we can see this window we don't have to do anything with this one we keep it 2500 kbps software nothing we don't change anything just change the recording path you can give any path to here like if you give some folder where it will save your uh, destination folder where you are uh, where it is going to save the output video okay then uh, one more thing here you have to select mp4 instead of the default is mkv so it, it's better to select mp4 as my settings then you go for apply and okay just 
apply and OK. Then you go to audio settings. Uh, we don't have to change this thing. Stereo, OK. Desktop audio disabled. Desktop, desktop audio 2 disabled. I disabled it because I don't want to have the speakers record for me. I have my own microphone. So I will use that microphone for the audio input. So I, I will select MIC, auxiliary audio, microphone and the rest are exactly the same. I'm not changing anything. Okay, this is fine. I'm seeking, saying OK. Again, I'll go to settings. We have video settings. I do, I'm not going to change anything in the video settings also. Uh, this is very important part, hotkeys. Here you can say streaming if you want to give some keys to the streaming start streaming I have put S and for stopping it also I have selected S for starting recording I say num0 and for stopping recording I am also saying num0 similarly you can also pause recording if you receive a phone call or something you may pause your recording momentarily and then you can unpause using some the same key it's up to you if you choose you can also choose different keys also but I have chosen same keys. You may also look at other settings, but they are very, they are not very important. Like uh, maybe you can use look at different settings. I am using these. These are very important settings that are very necessary during your recording lecture. Okay. Uh, in this one advanced settings we are not going to see what are the advanced settings we are done with that so okay let's stop this okay we are okay fine and come back to your original screen then you whatever you record it will be on um, recording so you can now if I put no. okay now if you want to stop recording you can either click here this will stop recording or you can press that key that you have specified in hotkeys um, once you stop recording you will see that the video that is generated will be located in the destination folder you can always go there and see the video but this will be after you have stopped the recording okay we have seen the installation of obs studio we also saw how do we do settings for recording a video lecture now the last thing that we are going to see is the video compression using VLC. So let's continue with this thing. I am opening the VLC player. I will go to media. I will select convert, save. And then I am going to here edit video file. Okay, before doing that I want to see the size of this. I, these are the videos that I have already produced using the OBS studio. So now this video. Uh, it, I will check with the what's the size of this video uh, if you can see the size of this video is 35.8 MB although it's not that big but you can reuse it without uh, without distorting or disturbing the quality of the video let's try this one so we have selected the video now let's convert save now we have to convert this here you see profile there are lots of many options but we will select the first option that is H264 plus MP3 which is in the bracket MP4 is written so I'm selecting this option uh, okay you will go to the destination folder either you can select the same folder or you may give it another will for example I am giving uh, it documents so that I see that it is stored in the documents I will get that with you there okay I say save and then I say start once I play start it will be converting the video into uh, it will actually compress the value this is it will take some time okay it's now almost close and we have little time left after it is converted we will see its size and see the and note that its size is reduced okay it's done now Let's see and find the documents where we have inserted it down. Okay, let's see the properties. And we can see the properties is 16.8, which means that we have reduced its size by 50% almost. 
so that is a good comparison okay for that's it for today's lecture I, I hope you will have enjoyed it and you have learned how to record a video lecture please don't forget to subscribe and like it